All right, I'm gonna set up a new world. I'm just gonna delete that previous one. And also, there was just way too many survivors that was screwing things up. This time, right off the bat, there will be less survivors because I set it to extremely rare, if you remember. I was mentioning that from earlier, so... I'm gonna start in Riverside this time. Uh, but all the rest of the settings, uh, well, it'll be pretty much the same as last time, but I am going to lower the population and uh, maybe a few things. I'll go over that once I finish. Hello, everyone. So at the end of the last recording, I decided to just kind of end it there because I think that was actually a pretty good spot to stop. And plus that recording was starting to get a little bit long. I don't know how long exactly it, it has ended up because I haven't edited it yet here, but I have created the new character this time. I'm going to be playing as a security guard. Still have the slow reader perk, but this time I got Night Owl. I'm not going to take anything else. Um, I think Night Owl will be useful, and also some of the uh, major skills, I should say, that come with security guards sound useful, like light-footed um, and sprinting, I think, will come in quite handy. So, let's get started. I've already got this all set up, so let's go. <laughs> I've said that so many times. Hopefully this time it actually works out. And we're in. Uh, by the way, if you always notice this stay closer and s spread out thing, it's because my mute keys, my hotkeys here on OBS, are actually the exact same for those with the uh, Survivor's mod in the game. So that's why that always pops up when I first start, because I mute it um, while it loads and I just do other stuff. So let's see what we got for a start. Is there anything good in this house? And also this time, I think I am going to kind of prioritize just getting out of the city. Um, that is the plan. I don't know how how bad is it actually going to be. Uh, I'm not going to deviate, like that is the plan for sure. But how bad is it actually going to be since now there's not an insane amount of survivors screwing up everything and like blasting off constantly and bringing zombies over, you know? We'll see. I think I'll be better off. Uh, this actually is a decent spawn. I got like this garage here, so a lot of uh, pretty good stuff. Um, a lot of stuff in here I could use to get a car up and running. But let's keep going. Let's see what we got. Um, that's bad. That screen door is very easy for zombies to get through. My last death was so unfortunate. It's like, I feel like I actually could have escaped from that if I didn't panic so much in the moment. But, uh, I did, and yeah, that was just kind of it. I was just freaking out, like, how in the world do I get out of this situation fast? And, I don't know, I was just panicking too hard, couldn't really think of it. And that cost me greatly. I knew it when I said that someone is shooting. I even set the survivor's mod to super, super, super low. Ah, interesting. Well, I don't mind it too much, but, uh... We will see. There's a zombie there. And I'm pretty sure it's seen me. Maybe not? I think I'm in luck. That's a relief. In case it's, uh, in case it circles around. Let me start closing up windows here. I think I have enough boards to start barricading some of these windows, but I, I do believe I need nails as well. That would make sense. And, uh, yep, I don't have any of those. Two zombies there. Okay. Not too bad thus far. Okay. Where there's one, there's always more. <laughs> Damn. You know, speaking of Leon Kennedy from earlier, like this dude's hair kind of looks like it, but also, maybe I should have picked the police officer start. Maybe that's the secret. That's how I become Leon Kennedy, and I get that sweet plot armor. I was looking at the transmission options for the uh, sandbox mode, like how you become a zombie, and I left it off um, just because, I don't know, like I was saying in a previous recording, I don't really 
like it, even though I think from a lore perspective it's pretty cool. Uh, it's just kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, but I was thinking about turning on the Everyone's Infected, but I was reading about that, and it, it's still... It, apparently it's like The Walking Dead in that case, which I actually haven't watched, but people on the forums were saying, like, so in that case, um, if you play on that setting, you'll still die with a bite. Uh, and then it's like, whenever you die, no matter how you die, um, then you become a zombie, which I thought was pretty cool, but the rest of that I, I didn't really care for. A stake? Was this zombie like a vampire? I thought I was supposed to be able to... yeah. Okay. Um, I thought I was supposed to be able to automatically climb through windows by just jogging into them. But, uh, I do actually have to press E. I, uh... Oh, I can automatically vault over windows. I see. I wish I knew that. Uh, because I was trying to do that on that last character, and that's what got me killed. I don't know why they kind of like hop like that. I'm guessing that's a bug. That zombie got stabbed with a butter knife. Wow. <laughs> How brutal. I feel like any of these buildings could have nails in them. That's what I'm really looking for at the moment, is just nails. Uh, I'd be best off, like, finding a hardware store and looting that, but... I don't know how far it would be to one. Uh, I don't really remember this map. And it, the other thing is I don't want to use the map. I feel like that's a bit cheap. Uh, the online map. I might end up doing it later, but at this point, I'm just gonna go map this. Metal sheet might come in handy, but... Uh, should I take an extinguisher? I don't know how likely I am to accidentally start a fire, but... as well, I suppose. Well, I guess while I'm here, I may as well check the rest of this house, see if there's any food and whatnot. Well, that house had some pretty good stuff in it. I got a, a pipe wrench and a fair bit of food. I found some ice cream, so hell yeah. And a lot of other good stuff. Uh, and I think I should probably head back. I still didn't find any nails, but... Ah, uh, I do want to keep going, but yeah, I should head back and drop this stuff off, because... I'm just carrying way too much. Um, I never actually carried way too much in this recording, but I do remember that if you carry too much, you can actually injure your back, which makes sense, uh, and I don't want to do that. And also, it's just a bad idea to have my movement speed so low when, in case I need to avoid some zombies, and it's already reduced, so... Gotta drop all this stuff off and then go from there. Oh, there's some zombies up there. I want to avoid them. Part of me wishes, and a big thing I was thinking with my previous playthroughs too, is like... The zombies actually don't respawn that soon. So it, if you have enough... Skill. <laughs> and uh, willpower and actual power. You could actually kill every single zombie in the area. And it would be very safe then. For a good amount of time. And you could probably just keep doing that. But the problem... Oh, there was a key there. Hold up. That's definitely for this car. Let me see if I can at least loot it. I probably can't flip it, but maybe there's something good in it. And it also, it's probably destroyed, so it's probably no point in flipping it. But anyway, I think it's just a much better idea to try to avoid the zombies now, rather than to try to kill every single one in the area, because it's just... I mean, maybe I'll be able to in the future, but... Eh, not for now. Not for now at all. Alright, got that nice and closed up. You know, what I actually should have done, probably, is, uh... Covered up this screen door first, because that's a, just a massive... Door just leading out, that they could look in. Yeah, that's a little bit of a concern. I really don't like that. At least I've got it now to where it's partially covered, but... I really gotta barricade those, that's just... Uh, freaks me out <laughs> that I just have an actual open window right there. It's not good at all. It'll be something I'll have to be very, very mindful of until 
I can get this place locked down better. Oh crap. Zombies knocking on my door. I hope, uh... I hope everything's gonna be alright. I'm gonna check it out. I'll go through the back door and kind of circle around on them. Maybe it was just the music, actually. But I thought I saw it actually moving, too, so... It doesn't hurt to at least check and be on the safe side, for sure. That's kind of the big theme of this recording, uh, this time around, is... Gotta be on the safe side. And actually, things have been working out so much better now that I've kind of been... Doing that. Uh, rather than just going batshit insane constantly and trying to kill everything in my path, you know? I'm not Doom Guy. Not Doom Guy whatsoever. I'm not Duke... Duke Nukem. I'm not D. Uh, why do I almost say DJ Blaskowitz? What the hell am I thinking? No, I'm not BJ Blaskowitz from Wolfenstein. So yeah, I can't do that crap. I'm that I'm that random dude who just randomly dies immediately in uh, every movie or game ever. So with that in mind, I need to act accordingly. I got most of my stuff put away, so I'm gonna head back out. And see if I can find some nails still. Uh, if I can also find, like, a saw or a screwdriver, I, I was thinking I could actually probably disassemble some furniture in here. And get a few good things just from that. Maybe some nails. Most likely some nails. I'm not sure how I screwed that up so badly. I uh, had to jump on these guys and I totally just, like, botched it. Holy crap, it's only two zombies. They have the perfect timing on me right now. Wow, that was awful. Alright, I need to run and get this stuff patched up. Did I really just do that? Wow. <laughs> this is awful. I lost my weapon. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely want to get into somewhere hidden. Uh, I don't even care that those zombies, like saw me come in here. I just need a second to get things patched up. Oh, this is bad. I might bleed out. Oh my god. Please no. Come on, man. Not again. Not again. Man, I'm definitely not gonna make it. One mistake. This game is brutal. Oh man. Alright. 